hi guys and welcome to another travel vlog we just made it into madrid spain and actually just arrived at our airbnb we will be in madrid for about a week we're actually meeting my parents and my in-laws i did mention that in my portugal video if you did miss that travel vlog i'll make sure to link it down below for you to check out tomorrow morning we're heading out early to go pick up my parents and my in-laws since they are arriving at the airport early and then we have a day planned with some exploring to do we have been in Madrid previous times before. This is actually gonna be our fourth time here, but we love the city, we love the people, we love the food, and our parents being Hispanics also love the city and the vibe overall, so that is why we decided to come and visit once again. Good morning, everyone. It is officially day three of being in Madrid, Spain. The first night when we got home, we basically just lay down right after I filmed that small clip. And the next morning we had to wake up really early because we had to go pick up my parents and my in-laws as I previously mentioned. That day was very chill, but at the same time, super fun. We actually went out to a couple of stores. They also wanted to do a little bit of shopping. So we took advantage since they were a little bit tired and I hadn't really planned anything that we needed to do that day. Cause I knew that they would come in a little bit tired. And then the second day we actually went out and wondered a little bit, just having to guide a group of six in total was a little bit much for me to bring out the camera and start vlogging. So today I decided to share with you guys what we're gonna do. We're actually in Parque de Retiro right now. And if you can tell, I'm a little bit out of breath because we are going uphill. So we're just gonna wander around here. Then we're gonna grab some lunch at the Mercado de San Miguel. And of course, I'll be bringing you guys along. Hi guys, as you can see, we are back in the Airbnb and almost ready to go to bed, but I wanted to jump on here and recap the day for you guys. I gotta admit, it's super difficult to just kind of step aside and do a little bit of vlogging with the whole family here. Obviously, they totally understand and they tell me, you know what, do your thing, but I kind of feel bad and obviously I wanna spend time with them as well. It is our vacation as much as it is theirs, so I don't wanna have to be bringing out the phone and then chatting while they're also there with us. So I thought I could just catch up with you guys later on during the day and kind of give you a recap of what we did. As I mentioned earlier on today, we were by Retiro Park, which is a huge park here in Madrid. We love visiting every time we are in Madrid. And today we actually did something that we had never done before, and that was take a little boat ride. It is very touristy, of course, but we had never done it and the weather was just so nice in order to be able to enjoy. So Rudy and I went with my parents and then my in-laws stayed in a little cafe having a coffee and a beer. So that was really fun. It was really nice. So we just kind of spent around 20 to 25 minutes. You can rent a boat and up to four people can fit inside and it is about six euros. So it's not too expensive whatsoever and they give you 45 minutes. I don't know if I mentioned that. 
So we did that there, then we walked around, we visited El Palacio Cristal, which is a really pretty like glass palace that they have in the center of the park. And then after we finished at Retiro Park, we actually grabbed a metro and headed over to El Mercado San Miguel, which is the most touristy spot here in Madrid. But my dad and my father-in-law really, really enjoy going there every time that we've come to Madrid. That's a must go for them. So we went ahead and took them and then we headed over to El Museo de Jamón, which is also a very popular place in Madrid. We kind of came back to do kind of like the things that we enjoyed the most and some of those spots are definitely touristy and that is okay as long as we enjoy going to them and visiting them. I don't mind it and neither does the family. Now after we finished at the Museo de Jamón for lunch, we just started walking to kind of head back to the apartment. However, we definitely made a couple more stops that we had planned to. We stopped at La Mallorquina, which is a pastry shop that is very popular here in Madrid. I actually think they have a couple of locations as I was putting it on Google. So if you are from Spain or if you have visited before, let me know if there's any other locations. We went to the one at La Puerta del Sol. And after that, we went ahead and headed over to El Corte Inglés, which is kind of like a huge department store shopping spot. So they have a ton of different brands that you can shop from kind of all in the same place. So we went there because we all wanted to get a long chomp. I went ahead and added a cute long chomp to my collection. I've probably already done a haul video of all the goodies that I picked up in this trip. So if that is up already, I'll make sure to link it down below for you guys. After we had a full day of exploring, we did over 15,000 steps today. We finally made it home to the apartment and we were all beat. We wanted to go out for dinner. However, I think we're all so, so tired that we're just going to call it an early night. Tomorrow, we are catching a train to go to Segovia. So I'll try to film as always while I'm there, just showing you guys a little bit around. It's not an in-depth travel vlog of things to do while you're in Spain or while you're in Madrid, but I definitely want to catch a couple of clips to share with you guys this little vacation trip that we are taking. So for today, that is all and I will catch you guys tomorrow morning. Good morning guys, we're actually at the train station now grabbing a train to do a day trip to Segovia. I'm sorry if I sound a little bit stuffy, I've been sleeping with the fan on at the room and I think I wake up with my throat hurting and a little bit of a stuffy nose. So we're gonna go ahead and grab the train, it is about an hour away so once we get there I'll show you guys around. So we've made it to Segovia and as you guys can see behind me, this is one of the most like iconic landmarks of Segovia. It is a aqueduct which was built centuries ago and it basically brought in the water into the town and it is just so amazing how it's still standing till date. So it is a beautiful sight to see and once you get dropped off after the train, you take a bus into the city and you take the one that leaves you at the aqueduct. So that way you start your day in Segovia right here. All right, so we officially finished eating lunch. The food was absolutely delicious. The service was actually really amazing as well. They offered a house wine, which was so, so good. So right now we actually came to see a castle that they have, which they say is an inspiration to the Disney movie castles. So we're just gonna walk around right now in order to walk off all this food.
Good morning, everyone. I'm coming to you from Toledo, another city in Spain, which is about a 30 minute train ride from Madrid. So we just decided to come out here and spend the day. We will be heading back at around 5 or 6 p.m. So it is gonna be quite a good amount of time to explore the city. Obviously, we're not gonna go into every single place and spend time there, but we're gonna see a lot of things from the outside, enjoy a lunch, enjoy a couple of desserts, and definitely some coffee. So of course, I'm bringing you guys along. Throughout this trip it's just so simple for me to match this is a new shirt that I actually picked up from Primark so I opted to wear it today it's really lightweight which is perfect for the weather and then I'm wearing some black skinny jeans which are very comfortable for all the climbing my sneakers have surprisingly been really really comfortable I did have to put a little insole but besides that they've been great and then I am using a new Longchamp bag. My mom took over the other one that I brought, so I opted to add a new one. I regardless wanted to pick up another one during this trip, and I thought that this one matched perfect with everything that I had packed. So we are officially heading back to the train station to end our day here in Toledo. We basically just came for the day kind of to bring my parents and my in-laws just to hang out, drink a couple of beers, grab a couple of coffees and eat some marzipan which is a very popular sweet here in Toledo and they do have them in other places too but I remember the first time I tried it was here in Toledo I don't know if it originated here so if you do know of course let me know down below but it is my absolute favorite with a little cup of coffee I am in heaven so it's just been a really nice day the weather was actually a lot nicer today than it has been the other days in Madrid it's actually been pretty warm there is a lot more that you can do also you can visit the churches there's a synagogue you can go into the cathedral and you can also visit the fortress or the palace which I think we went the first time we came but today we just wanted to kind of go visit another city show my parents and my in-laws around and then Rudy and I just reminisce about that first time that we were here so that's gonna be it for this vlog you guys I hope you enjoyed I just wanted to bring you along these cities that we were visiting while in Spain this isn't a travel channel by any means but I think you all enjoy when I do certain vlogs especially if they're travel vlogs and I bring you guys along and share with you where we're visiting what we're doing we are heading over to France next but I won't be vlogging there because my sister-in-law and my brother are actually joining us and another friend of ours from Miami is actually going to be visiting while we are there so it's just going to be way too many people for me to be actually vlogging so i decided to end this vacation vlog here now obviously on instagram i do post a lot more stories just to share with you guys a little bit more things and i will have some travel highlights as well but if you want to go ahead you can follow me there now if you did enjoy the vlog don't forget to give me a thumbs up and if you are new around here please consider subscribing as always i appreciate you taking some time to watch my videos and I'll catch you all in my next one. Bye everyone.